I'm Kristen Mullen Moore. Um, I just graduated from the University of Dayton in Ohio, and I'm originally from Chicago. And I've been at Amigos for nine months now. Um, I originally heard about it from a former volunteer at a volunteer fair at my college. And it was funny because I was looking to do a year of service in Africa because I'd been there before and I really enjoyed my experience over there. And I was just walking through and this girl who was really passionate and really excited to talk about her program stopped me and I started talking to her. And within a few minutes she started showing me all the pictures of the kids here and was just so passionate about Amigos de Jesus. So I was like, oh, maybe I should look more into this. So I ended up doing some research online and everything I heard about Amigos, I just really fell in love with. So I went through the application process and ended up here and it's been such a great experience so far. Um, I studied music education in college and it's been really cool because before me coming here there wasn't really much of a music presence. So since I've been here this year, I've been able to do music classes at the school, um, do liturgy music during the masses that we have at the Ogar. And it's just been really cool to see the kids who maybe not are so successful in other aspects of life at the Ogar have been really thriving in the music class. One of my most memorable uh, experiences here at the Ogar was during our summer school. I had been teaching music classes and we were preparing for a music concert. And I had a bunch of kids in them, but one kid in particular named Carlitos really stuck out. Uh, he had been struggling a lot with emotional things, um, with behavior problems, and had been getting in trouble a lot. And in school, um, I saw that he was really good and talented at music. And he, I don't know if he realized how talented he was. So we were preparing this drum concert. Um, we did Nino, Del Tambor, the little drummer boy. And there was a spot for a drum solo. So I ended up giving him this drum solo. And the whole time he was playing, his eyes were just lit up, huge smile on his face. And it was so cool to see him get such a positive um, experience out of it and such positive feedback. And everyone was so proud of him. And he was just beaming the whole time he was playing. And it's experiences like this where you can really show the kids in a different light, see where they can be successful, that it's been really cool here. Um, being able to share something I'm so passionate about in music and being able to see a kid who maybe hadn't had a chance to really showcase that before and he was just so talented in that area and it was really awesome to see how excited and proud of himself he was from that experience. 